No Film School's coverage of Cinegear 2019 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. And Firefly, unlimited music and non-GMO hosting. So Jonas, let me get this straight. You can, you can manhandle the motor on your lens here with your wireless follow focus, and it, it reverts back to where it was. It doesn't break, it doesn't stop, it doesn't want to scream against you or anything, correct? Yeah, it, it's still calibrated. You can move it by hand. And when you go back on the wheel, it's still calibrated. That's crazy. OK, yeah. so, so you know, we live in, it's really crazy. It's like we live in a, in a wireless follow focus revolution. You know, DJI has created one, uh, Tilt has created one. It's nice to see Hadane back in the game. So what's new here? Yeah, so we designed an, a new unit, a three-channel uh, focus iris zoom system. We designed it to be very robust, sturdy, easy to use. So each each uh, function has a dedicated button. Yeah. How, how sensitive are the motors? Can I kind of set my sensitivities depending on, on how I want to focus map? Or, or is there kind of like a one-size-fits-all approach? Uh, yeah, you can set the torque, the maximum torque. Mm -hmm. But then also we have these motors, which are it, which are very quick. Jeez, yeah, yeah, super light, uh, but also strong. But but not for the toughest lens or in very cold conditions. Then we have over here other motors that that can handle that, and you can just plug in, and it will automatically identify the motor. It will start ship uh, estimated in September. Uh, so this is still a prototype that uh, will have some different information on, on the screen. Uh, it's, we have introduction offer with the hand unit, the receiver, power cable, motor cable and one motor. And that's the, the M26V LX, the most powerful and the new upgrade is faster motor mm -hmm. for 7,995 US. All right. And then for each additional motor, how much is that going yeah, to cost Yeah, a motor me? like this is 1,790 US. Okay, yep. cool. Zoom. Oh, wonderful. And then in terms of the sensitivity of the calibration, I've worked with some follow focus systems where, you know, it'll, it'll kind of run off the rail real quick and, it, you know, it'll grind towards the lens and you got to stop it. How sensitive is this? If it, if it knows that something's wrong, will it stop? Will it try to break the lens? It, it's very sensitive. So it, with automatic calibration, it's it's sensitive and and uh, it feels and stops it goes approaches them very 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 slowly. Mm -hmm. But you can also do a manual calibration where you go by hand and move it from end stop to end stop. So if you re have a really sensitive lens with sensitive end stops or no end stops, you can do it by hand, and uh, yeah, th then you don't need to run it by m with the motor into the end stop at all.